बचा लेना जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुली In this edition of Global Print, I'm going to talk to you about the visit of the Maldivian President Ibrahim Soli to India. It's still ongoing. Mr. Soli has been in Delhi, where he met Prime Minister Modi and other senior leaders of the the government. From here, he's gone to Mumbai, and in a day or so, he will be back in the Maldives. But this has been. a very interesting and a very very important visit but before i explain the significance of the visit of the maldivian president i'd like to make an appeal to you dear viewer please do subscribe and pay just a little bit it's only rupees 159 all you have to do is to click on the join button become a subscriber to the prince free fair objective and unhyphenated journalism it's very little money like i said but you get the advantages of being a subscriber the benefits and privileges that other subscribers don't have so back to my column global print on the visit of the maldives president mr ibrahim soli to india now you might want to ask me why is it such a big deal the maldives is such a tiny country just over 400000 people in terms of population its size is quite interesting it's because it's about 1400 islands and atolls the archipelago which is spread actually astride the equator and that's the significance of the maldives it's very much part of the indian ocean and as this government that's the modi government's neighborhood policy neighborhood first policy which is that all the countries of south asia the india's most important relationships are in this region maldives is very much part of that second of all and equally importantly maldives has been wooed in the previous presidentship of Abdullah Yameen who lost power in 2018 and Mr Soli became president so when Mr Yameen former president Yameen was in power he was China's best friend in the Maldives but then the people of the Maldives rose against Mr Yameen and the Maldivian Democratic Party's leader Mr Soli became a uh, president and he has been president for the last 4 years elections are expected in September of 2023 so here it is the significance of the maldives why it's so important to india so this this little tiny uh, island country spread across across hundreds of islands uh, astride the equator and why is that important i'd like to tell you and if you just look at the map you'll figure this out very very easily which is that the sea lanes both for communication and for free navigation now maldives is very close to this one and a half degree channel through which large numbers of ships pass through so a significant portion of the uh, of the of navigation of ships that that are, are globally Uh, pass through this one and a half degree channel and if the maldives which is bang in the center of this would naturally mean that it is um obviously doesn't have control over it but it's because it's cheek by jowl it would know exactly what's going on so only in march this year external affairs minister mr jay shankar traveled to the maldives and handed over uh, from the government of india this gift of a coastal radar system now that may sound very innocuous and in some ways it is but what a radar does i'm sure you all know dear viewer so essentially now if you have a coastal radar system which links the key islands of the maldives in this strategically important region for india then what it does is it enables the maldives and hopefully india which is a good friend of the maldives to have eyes on the ships that pass through So essentially what's going on is that uh and this is what the um Indian government will tell you is that the friendship which is such a core and a very very close fr- friendship between the two countries and Mr Soli uh, who is a manifestation of that is that both countries have a stake in each other's uh national security certainly India being the much larger country much bigger population much larger size 
would be able to help the Maldives achieve its own national security. Now, the visit of Ibrahim Soli, President Soli, is so important because he's seen as a very safe pair of hands. So if you look at President Soli over the last four years, he doesn't speak that much. He's actually a very quiet man, but a very good observer, um, especially about what's going on in his country. And I'll come to that in a minute. But India or New Delhi, the government, sees President Soli as, as a very stable person whose ability to be in charge to, to see what's going on inside the country and externally to look at India as a close friend and to keep China in its place. I think that's why President Soli all around is considered uh, as somebody who's very important, not just for the Maldives, of course, but for the India-Maldives relationship. Now, the other thing that I'd like to talk about is, uh, is and this is inextricably linked to the Maldives uh, political situation, and that is the, um, the current controversy between President Soli and his own party colleague, uh, the Speaker of the Maldives Parliament, Mohammad Nasheed. Now, Mr. Nasheed, who is a very, very bright, uh, very smart, very shrewd, very charismatic politician. He was the first democratically elected uh, president of the Maldives in 2008. Before that, he's been an amnesty prisoner of conscience. Uh, and what that means is that in the previous governments of Momun Gayum, uh, Mr. Nasheed was in jail for a long period of time and uh, he was tortured in jail. But he has emerged as perhaps not just a very a uh, significant leader inside the Maldives, but across the region, and not just across the region, I would say, but internationally as well. Uh, a few years ago, if you remember, when, again, when Abdullah Yamin was in power and Mr. Nasheed was thrown into jail again, his case was taken up internationally by several human rights lawyers, including Amal Clooney, who is this um, uh, sort of internationally recognized, very, very bright lawyer, very smart woman. So Mr. Nasheed, on the one hand, very charismatic, um, a lovely person, but there is this conflict, this political confrontation between Mr. Nasheed and uh, President Soli. So between the Speaker of the Parliament, he's, he's a leader of the MDP, the Maldivian Democratic Party, and of course, Mr. Soli is a key leader of the party. So here are these two stalwarts of the NDP facing off inside the country. And that is a very, very unfortunate state of affairs because here you have this a tiny country. Uh, you have the opposition that's baying for your blood, uh, Abdullah Yamin's opposition. And like I said earlier, that the benefit of this confrontation between Nasheed and uh, Soli, guess who's the beneficiary? China, of course, because if the MDP loses the elections next year in September, and there are signs that that may actually happen, then Yamin becomes president again, and uh, China then inveigles its way back into the Maldives, back into this very, very sensitive part of the Indian Ocean. Unfortunately, the confrontation between the speaker and the president, Nasheed and Soli, is not dying out in, for, in the near future. Now, the immediate reason for this a conflict between uh, Nasheed and Soli has been the arrest by the government of Nasheed's brother, Mr. Nazim. Now, Mr. Nazim is this well-known Twitter star. He sort of uh, punches the government a lot, very critical of the government's policies in many ways. But that's besides the point. So what happened is that there was allegedly a video leaked of Mr. Nazim with, with another a gay man, so it's a it's a gay. Uh, so you know the implication being that Mr. Nazim is gay, and so there is this video leaked by somebody we don't know who it was. But the problem here is that homosexuality is banned in the Maldives. It's very much for all its sun, sand, snorkeling, um, and this uh, and and you know this picture of the Maldives being this sort of paradise on earth. For all of that, it's actually a very conservative country. So when this video leaked, uh, it immediately became a sensation, of course. Uh, homosexuality, like I said, is banned in the Maldives. 
and Mr. Nazim was picked up. He was arrested by the police. This got Mr. Nasheed really, really mad. And uh, so it's become, this confrontation has become very ugly between the two people, both of whom, in fact, have been friends for more than 40 or 50 years. They grew up together. Their families know each other really well. You can imagine it's like a really, really small town, Mali, the capital of the Maldives. So here are two families and the, and the heads of these two families are now feuding with each other. So you can imagine what this does to the political situation in the Maldives. And what is even worse is that this, is, this feud has impacted the entire party. So the party is divided down the middle between Mr. Nasheed and uh, Mr. Soli, so the Speaker of the Parliament and the President of the country. It's become very ugly. Um, and uh, just a couple of months ago, in fact, there were elections, internal party elections. So Mr. Nasheed had his man as a candidate. Mr. Soli has his own man. And, um, and the person who was Mr. Soli's candidate won that election. Now, people are wondering why this is going on. So you have this, um, this scandal over Mr. Nazim's, um, you know, personal sort of sexual inclinations. But there is something deeper than, what's, than that as well. Mr. Rashid has been saying for some time that the presidential form of government that runs in the Maldives is, is already running out of steam and that perhaps they should be uh, changed and replaced by a parliamentary form of government. This has been attracting its own criticism, uh, including from people within the MDP. So right now, there is this sort of these stresses and strains that are tearing the MD, MDP apart. And what is even more unfortunate is that both these gentlemen, very bright, very good at what they do, are at daggers drawn um, and at each other's political throats. This has caused some concern in New Delhi. As you can imagine, New Delhi believes that Maldives is a friend. Prime Minister Modi um, believes, like I said to you, that President Soli, very safe pair of hands, somebody that he can trust. And India has put its full weight behind President Soli. But nobody wants this, the fact that Mr. Nasheed, who is, like I said, a very charismatic politician, a very, very intelligent person, nobody wants this to be a spoiler in the MDP government and potentially in the elections next year. So as Mr. Soli, as President Soli wends his way back from India to the Maldives, very important visit, several memoranda signed, an increase in the, um, in the grant as well as in the line of credit that India is giving the Maldives. In Mumbai, he has had conversations with India's corporate and business community. They're inviting Indian businessmen to invest in the Maldives already. Um, several infrastructure projects are being funded by India, including the Greater Mali Connectivity Project. Uh, uh, more than a billion dollars that's being spent to connect the capital Mali with the neighboring islands. And an Indian company called Afcons is, is building this bridge and the causeway link uh, connecting uh, Mali with these islands. So more investment, certainly, that the Maldives is, uh, is seeking from India uh, as, a, as not just to compete with Chinese investment. By the way, like in Sri Lanka, the loans that the Chinese give to the Maldives and the funding of the infrastructure that's taking place by the Chinese is very, very expensive. So by the time you end up paying the interest, you, your, your, the loan just sort of keeps uh, increasing. And that's one of the things that the, Maldiv that the Maldivian government has been struggling with. So needing India, wanting India to cement this very close political relationship between India and the Maldives, but unfortunately, there is a wasp in paradise. Now, um, these, all these problems need to be resolved. People need to talk to each other. And that, of course, would be the best, not just for the Maldives, to, but also to smoothen out the India-Maldives relationship. So, dear viewer, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've, um, you've liked it. But I look forward to hearing from you and also... Um, to request you to read my column on the Prince website. Thank you so much for watching.